What's up guys, Charles here with D2APDesigns.com and I'm bringing you the second part of the After Effects 2D animation, 2D intro tutorials. Um, I'm feeling really good today and uh, I think this is going to be a great tutorial. <laughs> so uh, let's go ahead and get started. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and grab, actually no, we don't even need to grab a new layer, just go up here to the ellipse tool. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn the stroke off. And I'm going to turn solid color on. And we'll just leave it white for now. We can change it later if we wish. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right here. And I'm going to bring up the title action safe. And we're just going to stick this right in the middle. Best we can like that. And I'm going to hold down control and shift. There we go. Just drag that out. And that's good for now. Um, we can come in here and scale it up if we like. Um, let's see. Transform. And just go ahead and scale it up. That's good for now. All right. Um, now what we want to do is... Uh, I'm trying to figure out whether I should show you how to animate it first or show you something else. Um, I think I'm gonna show you something else first, and go into animating that later, or maybe in the next, or maybe in the next series of this tutorial, or the next part of this series. I'm feeling good, but I can't speak. <laughs> so um, let's go ahead and uh, uh, let's grab. Um, we'll just grab the ellipse tool again. Now, right here, you'll see um, two buttons. This is the shape tool. This is the create mass tool. We're gonna click on the create mass tool. And again, we want to align this right in the center. That looks to be about in the center. Again, hold down Control and Shift, and then we're going to scale it up. Okay, so about right there, and scale it down a little bit. We want it like right on the edge. So I think right about there. And now, um, still selected, or still with the mask select, I'm going to hit Control T. And now I'm just going to move it a little bit and try and make sure it's lined up where it should be. Um, I think that's pretty close. Yeah, I'm going to stick with that for now. We, we can adjust it later if we need to. Um, and now I'm going to go ahead and close this stuff. And I'm going to grab the text tool here. Um, you can use any color you want. And uh, now I'm going to go ahead and click. And I'm going to make a bunch of periods like this. Now, um, depending on the font you're using, they may be square which is fine, you can use square, but I want circles for this one, so I'm going to go with the uh, bubble, body, body, something like that. Um, and that's enough for now. I'm not going to worry about it too much. Anyway, so now what we want to do is I'm going to take the mask we just made, I'm going to hit Control c and then delete it out of there. And then right here, I'm going to hit Control v Alright. Now let's go ahead grab the mask, hit control T on it again. We're going to just drag it back over here. Let's line it up in the center like we did before. So it looks like it's about perfect. And then we're just going to grab the edge and hold down control shift and drag it out again. Something, something like that. That looks good to me. And now what we need to do is I'm going to deselect it and I'm going to go to the text, um, path options, and under path we're going to hit mask. And as you can see they line up on the mask. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn force alignment on and then uh, we're going to adjust these to where they're evenly spaced. So about right there. We can rotate this around a little more. Rotate that around a little more. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So that's how you can get like dots spinning around this or whatever. Um, obviously, you can increase the uh, mass size, control T. Um, you can have the dots out here um, just spinning around, or they can be lines spinning around, whatever you want to do. Um, now, I don't know how other people do this. Um, this is the way I, I taught myself to do it. Um, it. It seems to work pretty well. I, there could be an easier way. I don't know. Um, if you want to add in more dots, then you can just click right there and add in more dots or periods, whatever you want to call them. So anyway, that's that. Now I'm going to go ahead and shut that off for now. 
Um, so now how I would animate the shape layer. So if you've seen that evolution intro I did like for the evolution graphics contest, um, basically what I did um, was when the circle pops up. I do this for pretty much all circles. Um, let's see, where's the scale? There's the scale. So I'm going to turn this all the way down to a zero. I'm going to type in zero. And then I'm going to click on the stopwatch here instead of the keyframe. And then I'm going to move ahead uh, 20 keyframes or 20 frames. And then I'm going to scale it up a little bit. Now, I always scale it up a little bigger than I actually want. And then I move a couple frames ahead and I scale it back down a little bit. And it gives it a really nice pop. So, like when it plays, it comes in, pops towards you, and then it goes back down in scale. I don't know, it just it just looks a lot better to me. Obviously, you don't have to do that. But that's what I like. And we're going to quicken this up. It's a little too slow. Let's try that. Yeah, that's better. So you can see, you get that nice little pop. Um, and obviously, you can hit uh, F4. And you can turn on motion blur and stuff like that if you want. So just, you know, like that. I don't know. Yeah, it's really not needed. And I don't even know that it's going fast enough to really make too big a difference. So anyway, that's how I animate, you know, the circle coming in. And then I would just take this right here. And um, let's see, after it comes in. Let me um, shrink the mass down. Let's see how much time we have. All right. I won't, I won't carry this on for too much longer. This will be second part finished here soon. Um, so under the mask settings here, we're just going to go ahead and uh, select the mask, control T, and then I'm going to shrink it down. Again, holding down control shift, then right about there. And uh, go ahead and deselect it again. So now that that's there, we can go ahead and turn the dots back on. We need to mess with the margin again. Uh, that looks better. All right. So what I did in that animation was um, actually put the uh, mask below the sphere and just made it so the edges were sticking out, I think, if I remember correctly. Um, anyway, and how I got the, how I got them to come in was I went to effect, uh, transition, and then where is it? Um, I want to say iris swipe is what I used. Is that right? Let me see here. Okay, no, that is not what I used. Let me try and remember what I used real quick. Um, it was one of the transitions. Let's see. Actually, what I might have done, rather than using a transition, because I use transitions quite a bit, but um, what I might have done actually is I think I just duplicated the mask. So let's go ahead and make the mask or duplicate the mask rather. Uh, so what? Wait, what happened? Okay, there we go. So I'm just gonna take the mask and uh, Control C, Control V, and that's not working. Why is that not working? Okay. Control D. There we go. So hit Control D to duplicate the mask. And then, um, oh, one other thing, um, when you do the mask, I set, I set it to none, so you don't have to worry about erasing anything. But for mask 2, you're going to want to put it to add or subtract. Let's see here. Let's see which one it is that I want. Okay, yeah, add's fine. So basically, I'm going to set the mask expansion right there, and then when this comes down to about right there, I'm going to stopwatch it, set a keyframe, move forward a little bit. And we'll just have those come in. We don't want it to be too fast. And then uh, I'm going to select them, right click, and then easy ease. That just makes it a little smoother. So, okay, that's a little bit quicker than I would like it to be. So let's go ahead and stretch that out a bit. Um, the other thing we can do is uh, add a little feather to it. Okay, so that's not too bad. That's a little better. Um, Alright, this has been going on a while, so I'm going to go ahead and stop it here. Um, part, part 3 should be out before too long, 
and uh, hopefully this is helping you guys out a bit. And uh, I'm out of here. Peace.